New Orleans was a, a walking city, a, a city where people were out, just like New yeah. York. Every, you see somebody 24 seven walking wherever, well, New Orleans was that kind of town. It was a neighborhood, too. yeah. You go to certain areas where you knew it flourished with people and there was life. It's like dead. I, I, I don't know what they're trying to do here, but well, they're killing what, it. Yeah, the gentrification. They, they cannot kill the culture, though. That is one thing that will never, ever die in this city. A lot of our work was inundated by the floodwaters of Hurricane Katrina. You know, in the beginning, we were really literally throwing the stuff away because all we saw was big bins of this nasty water. And so the ones that we kept, we put in a, a freezer. Um, we just thought that that would stop the deterioration of whatever was happening. And so when we started working with them, I can't even explain like what happened, but the transformation of the slides and the negatives are just beautiful. You know, when you hear about the Night Ward, all you hear is about oh, the poor people in the Night Ward, you know, the poor people, but the poor Ninth Ward was 98% homeowners. So you know who Fats was? Fats Domino, you guys old enough to know Fats. But Fat house is right in the next block. He never left the Ninth Ward. He could have lived anywhere in the world, but Fat stood all the way through Katrina in his house. I mean, it wasn't meant for the poor people to come back. For once the people got out, they said keep them out. So then the city up for grabs. So all these new folk coming in, half of them don't even live here. They just buying. Every day you get a new letter, do you want to spaces. sell your house? So a lot of older people, especially in the black community, they never had succession. The houses were still in grandma name. When I photographed the night ward 40 years ago, I had no idea that it would be all empty lots and things like that. So you see the importance of a photograph now. I just think that me and Chandra, we was fortunate to be able to come back and um, claim a space in our community and have a, 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 a viable, comfortable space to work from, you know? And uh, that's a blessing, you know? Yeah. We yeah, are we more involved in our work, gonna always be part of this community, you know? You know, our work come from the people, so it, to me it belongs to the people, it's for the people. They have certain people wants to be authority on, on our culture and, and, and we have to be able to speak. That's why I'm teaching young kids in the neighborhood to, to be able to go out. You know, photography can take you through any door. Like I tell a camera, the camera more powerful than the AK-47, you know, than in the right hands. It's a weapon.